Hi guys. I have to excuse this um, outfit I'm wearing right now because I was not going to get all fancy and change my clothes just to do a live video and get all filthy dirty. So this video um, is going to be fun. I was sitting here putting stuff away, answering emails, um, looking at messages. I've been asked on more than one occasion. You should, Crystal. I've been asked on more than one occasion now, um, is there anything I can use in the epoxy as a dye instead of the dyes? A lot of people are on a budget right now. Um, I get that. Um, can't invest in the dyes, especially not knowing if they're going to work for what you want them to work for. So I thought I would grab some of the things that I have in my craft room already and see if I can add them to epoxy and what they do. So you guys can... Um, <laughs> You guys can count on me to um, either, sorry I spilled one of the things I was going to use. We're either going to find something really cool or we're going to find something that we absolutely absolutely should never put on a tumbler. How about that? Okay, so um, I'm going to mix up some epoxy really quick and then I'll show you guys what I'm going to add to the epoxy. Disclaimer. I 100% think that the dyes should be the only thing that are added to the epoxy. Uh, up until this point, I haven't experimented with a whole lot of things. Um, I trust the dyes. I know how, what to expect from them. I can't guarantee that any of these things that I'm going to throw on a cup today, hey Susanna, um, I cannot guarantee that any of them are going to work or last or hold up, but we're going to play, okay? So let me, I'm going to mix up some epoxy. I'm coming right back. And I'm so excited. I can see comments. Yay. Okay, is it still blinking? My light, okay, so the light that I have hanging over my station, I just bumped it when I was doing epoxy, so it was swaying. That's probably, probably looked like it was blinking. It was my light swinging. Hi, hi, hi. Hey, Jana. I think Crystal, my neighbor, I think she might be headed over here right now. We'll find out. So what I did is I mixed, I'm mixing way more epoxy that I'm going to need for my cup. Because I'm going to be experimenting with a bunch of different stuff in it. So I wanted to have a lot to play with. Hey, hey. You guys have seen, people have had, um, positive and negative experiences with putting acrylic paint into the epoxy. So, <laughs> um, hold on, Crystal. I'll have to see if I can get somebody to go out there and let you in. Okay, guys, excuse me for one second. I gotta, I gotta let the neighbor in the gate. I'm back. Okay. Somebody's coming out there to open the gate. And I'm mixing epoxy. For mixing epoxy, guys, um, try to get the biggest stick that you can. It puts less bubbles into the epoxy. 
the smaller sticks are harder to use. Totally makes sense, Barbie. That's that's um if you put too much in, I know it changes the consistency of the epoxy. But that's what we're gonna figure out right now. We're gonna this is either gonna be good or it's gonna be real bad, but at least we'll know. Okay, so I'm going to I have a bunch of these little Dixie cups. They do not have the wax on the inside. You guys know some of these cups have wax on the inside. You do not want to use those for your epoxy. And I'm going to just put a little bit in a bunch of these little cups. So I have a bunch of different little cups to, oops, um, mix stuff into. And what I did ahead of time is I went ahead and painted my cup white. It's hot in here so my cups don't get burnt. Okay. I got a mess going too. Should I hide my your booze? No. <laughs> I read it. <laughs> I read Oh my gosh. I have a there we go. A block epoxy to my station here. Okay, so I'm going to tilt you guys down so you can see the cup. I um, roughly painted it white because this is literally, this is experimentation. I'm going to grab a few sticks. Okay, first thing I'm going to try adding in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, how about I clean off my camera a little bit so you guys can actually see. There we go. Um, food coloring. Why not, right? So I'm going to do... Point it at the cut. Blue food coloring. Let's see how that works. So I have a little bit of epoxy in here. And I'm just going to put... Let's just put a bunch. I don't know how much. Let's see what this does. Okay, so with the food coloring, you gotta mix it quite a bit. It smells like vinegar. It didn't wanna mix with the epoxy at first, but then it did. So let's put this on here and see how this works. I don't have a glove on, so I'm going to have to use my stick. Where's your glove? They're over there. Green box. You opened it wrong. <laughs> I, oh yeah, I always open it wrong, because I just open whatever end is closest to me. Move it. Like, Look. Oh my gosh, she's got three hands. I have an assistant. How am I supposed to Yeah, just move it in there. We'll see how, how that works. Okay, food coloring works. Food coloring works, guys. Totally tinted the epoxy. We'll see how this cures. I'll, I'll update you guys on how it cures if it gives me any issues. I can turn that off. Hot. How about this color? The next thing... Dye white. Hmm. I just painted 
painted the cup white with acrylic paint. Oh, that's too funny, Cynthia. Have a drink for me. Oh, I will. <laughs> Big drink in sense, too. Okay. If you want to kill that glove. I'm going to try watercolors. These came in a package. I got them at Michael's with my 40% off. There's a ton of colors. And they're little, like this, little watercolors. I'm going to use the color rose. Can you guys see that? My phone never wants to focus on anything. Rose. Rose. Ooh, I heard me. Okay, so I'm just going to squeeze a bunch of that in there. Let's see what this does. Oh, I have lag. That cup's pretty. That was a fun one. I had to babysit it. Okay guys, watercolor, watercolor mixed into the epoxy. You guys know I will wreck a cup for you in the name of testing things out. Just tell me what you want to see. I will mess them up all day long. Is that glitter or is that bubble? Bubbles. Let's see how this does. I might need to mix it some more. The blue is food coloring. Okay, the watercolor doesn't look so cool. Mm -mm. It's like it doesn't want to mix into the epoxy. Like the epoxy coagulated the watercolor, which could be really cool if you're going for a speckled look on your cup. Or maybe over like another color. Yeah, if you have something underneath and you do this over the top, it really could have a cool effect. I'll show you guys up close in a second when I get it on there. Actually, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's doing something really neat. Something different. I'm going to pour a little bit more of this blue on there because I want to see how that sets up. I don't think it wants to sit to the cup very well, though. enough for government work. The watercolor on a clear glass would definitely be neat. Do you guys see how that is speckly? That's how it looks on the cup. See in there how it's all speckly? Oh you can see. You can see how it coagulated. I mean, it's definitely a different look. We'll see how it dries. Okay, do you guys want me to try um, yellow food coloring? Because that one can be touch and go. Like, yellow can be iffy. Or green. I just have a basic setup right now of food coloring. 
Don't they have neon food coloring? Yes, neon and um, I had a whole bunch of them, but we used them up at Easter. Where's your brain, Heather? Um, yeah, don't know. My brain is frazzled. Okay, so I will try the yellow food coloring. You guys, there's all different kind of colors of food coloring. I have a I had a whole bunch of them, but we did some fun stuff with Easter eggs this year. Um, I had some writ dye. And I don't know where I put it. This is your yeah. craft space. <laughs> <laughs> I know my craft space, not yours. I did find those keychains I was looking for the other day, though, forever. They're all in here. For anybody that watched the last video where I was looking for keychains forever, yeah, I found all of them. Okay. Um, I haven't mixed alcohol inks directly into the epoxy but I can do that too I just drip them on because you know you get that swirly effect but yeah I'm gonna do yellow let's do yellow let's do a whole boatload of yellow <laughs> where's your brain also I thought of this wizard of <laughs> nail polish yes Okay guys, so food coloring will dye the epoxy, but you have to mix it really good. you have nail polish? I have a ton of nail polish. Do you guys want me to mix some nail polish in and see if that is a disaster? Yeah, let's we'll put that right there. Okay. Yes, that would work too. The food ones. They said yes, nail polish. The food coloring actually is really pretty. Okay, let me get this yellow on here. I will go grab... Eyeshadow. No, you guys, I'm a, I, I do makeup artistry. I'm sorry, I cannot sacrifice my eyeshadow. <laughs> I don't have an eyeshadow in, in my collection that costs me less than $60, so sorry, no. Oh, but I have some pigment. Okay, pigment I will sacrifice. Give me one minute, guys. I'm coming right back. You're gonna have to find your writ die. Yes, I need to find my die. Okay, so I have these. These are eyeshadow pigments and they're neon colors. So I'm gonna try these. And then, let's try, ay yay yay. Kind of fun. You'd think with all this nail polish I actually painted my nails, but <laughs> nah.
I'm just going to use this color because it's on top. Insta dry. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. So this is Sally Hansen. Can you guys see? Pew. That's pretty. Look. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. That yellow pen looks orange. Yeah, I put too much drops in the yellow. I went a little crazy with the yellow. Okay guys, nail polish works. It blended right in. It's kind of shimmery and... Um, the epoxy doesn't smell super strong to me. Oh, I'm making a big mess. That's okay. This is blue food coloring. This is um, watercolors. They, they don't work. So um, this is yellow food coloring, and this is nail polish. Nail polish works. It actually blended right into the epoxy. No chunks or weird stuff. I probably could have put more in, but this is all for the love of testing things out, right? Okay. Um, let's use this coral pigment. Ooh, I forgot how pretty this was. There's so many. Okay, yeah, that's a coral eyeshadow pigment. Whoops. Oh Lord have mercy, that's pretty. It was this type of watercolor. The epoxy hated it. It's all chunky and looks grimy. Where do you buy your pigments from? Um, these eyeshadow pigments, I believe I picked up at like Mission Beauty. Ooh, you guys, look at that. That's pretty. Now all of these would have to be adjusted as needed. Like you would have to put as much or as little pigment in there for whatever you're working with. This is going to be a fun cut to strip. This one's going to get an acetone bath when we're done. This is a coral pink pigment eyeshadow. It doesn't even have a brand name because it came, that's the only reason I'm sacrificing these, is it, it was something that I used for Halloween. Um, yeah, it doesn't even have a name because it came in a kit. And then I have all of these neons too that would be really pretty. 
let's see. I'm going to take a little bit of, this is a matte hot pink pigment. And I'm going to put some of that in this same epoxy that has the coral in it. And see if it makes my epoxy matte. Wouldn't that be some she's? If we found a way to make epoxy matte. Anybody that is on a budget, kind of chunk, a little bit, but I think I can get rid of that by mixing. I got some little chunky pieces that I couldn't see until I poured it on the cup. here and she's literally like in the room with me and she's still watching the live on her phone. <laughs> Not anymore because my battery's about to die. <laughs> okay, that's pretty. The top of this cup is looking really promising. Mm -hmm. The bottom of it needs an intervention. This part. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna... You need baby wipes. I do need baby wipes. I'll um, throw them over the fence when I get. <laughs> um, no. Where did the box of gloves go? I put them right here. Oh. <laughs> I rearranged your room. <laughs> <laughs> They're back where they go. Okay, guys. I'm going to... um. I'm going to try to get some of this off. Maybe I can salvage this cup and make it something that might actually be pretty. Um, do you have paper towels? No. You need those too. Yeah. <laughs> I know, we're out of a few things. My kids just went into my bathroom and robbed me of my toilet paper too. They never tell me they're out, they just go steal mine, so then I don't know that they're out. <laughs> Like, if you tell me there's no toilet paper, I can replace it for you. That'd be too easy. It would be too easy. Okay. I got most of those chunkies off. I'll just cover it in something else. This is really pretty. Yeah, it is. I'll have to turn the camera around and show you guys. Um, so I have food coloring, nail polish, eyeshadow pigment, more eyeshadow pigment. The neon eyeshadow pigment, pig, pigment really did cool things. So I think I'm going to do a purple and then a green. That's, oh, there you go. Touch and bear epoxy again. See? This is when you're... I know. I'm going to break out. I'm going to break out in hives. Are you really? No. I'm allergic to latex, but not epoxy. I thought... <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> I thought I was having a reaction to the epoxy. You guys that are watching this, don't do what I'm doing. Okay? Don't do what I'm doing. Do not touch the epoxy. Just because I don't have a reaction to it doesn't mean everyone else in the room won't. I do it. Yeah. I did it like three hours ago. What time is it? You're still alive? Yeah. I have like, an EpiPen. I was like, so do I. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have two of them. Okay, guys. I'm going to do a purple, and then I'm going to do a green. So um, You should do the purple over that. 
Yeah, but then what am oh, I'll do orange right here and then purple so it covers that. Okay. So I'm going to use, I'm going to half this up because I got too much in there anyways. Actually, I should have done it in there, huh? So I'm going to use the cup that has the yellow. Did you epoxy this one? Not yet. No. You need to so I can steal it. I know. I'm super bad about epoxying things that I already started. Okay. So this has the yellow food coloring in it. And I'm going to put <coughs> some orange pigment in it. I am making a bloody mess. That's okay. Did you strip that cup where you, where you did? You did. I did, but I dropped it. You killed it. Oh, yeah. That's worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I dropped it. I dropped two of my cups after I stripped them and put a big old dent in one of them. Yeah. It's like, damn it. Darn it. Definitely. See, that's why I can never do lives because I cuss too much. I cuss. I cuss a little. Cheek pigments. Those will work. Any powdered pigment's going to work. I just put neon orange in here with the yellow food coloring. So now I'm mixing food coloring and pigment. Are those all the Illumides? Uh-huh. I just ordered them. Did you? Yeah. Those are so cool. I ordered the dye, the Luma Dust, and some more epoxy. Nice. I'm You're going to be set up. I ordered the small ones, though. These ones? Yeah, because I don't think I'll go through that in six months. It does last a long time. I go through it in about two and a half months. I go through it. Mm, I've had those ones. I don't even know. But you see how much epoxy I waste? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is the orange. I'm going to put the orange right next to this pink. I don't have enough epoxy in this one. Do I need his love? I think I can get it. Oh, this is dry. Yeah. There's dried epoxy ones all over my room. Well, I know what I'm going to get you now. <laughs> <laughs> A garbage can. <laughs> Some Just because you give me a garbage can doesn't mean I'm going to throw my stuff away. <laughs> Baby wipes. This is what happens, guys. This is what happens when you let someone into your space. And a roll, and some rolls of uh, paper towels. Yeah. I'll <laughs> we'll just throw them. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you're. Yeah. All I have to do is throw them right over the fence. Right there is perfect. I can walk out my my bedroom door and get them. Yeah. You have a bedroom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a door. My bedroom next door has a door to go outside. There's a hot tub out there. Yep. Yeah, because that's where our dogs fight. Yeah. Yeah, so all I have to do is throw it right <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that is the neon orange pigment. You guys, I'm going to turn this around, and I'm going to show you all of these. Like, you're going to be able to see better, because my, my light is putting, like, an obnoxious glare on there that you can't see really well. So, hi. The green kind of disappeared, though. Yeah, I lost some green up there. I don't know what it, my turner is like. It's not even. Okay, as you think it's even, you look at it, it looks like it's even, but it's not. Everything moves to the top of my cup. Okay. I had to adjust mine. I had to remove one of my glitter things. Because <laughs> I was getting the rim at the top. Mm, yeah. That's been happening on my cups on here. But I did screw it. <coughs> nice. Yes. It doesn't move me. Even when I want it to. It won't. Oh, right. <laughs> That's my motor is screwed in, guys. I don't know if you guys have all seen that or not, but um, 
it's screwed into the bracket, so it doesn't matter how uneven my cup gets. You're it ain't green. going nowhere. The green and the orange are actually like different. That's okay. And this has always been one of my favorite colors of nail polish. It's like a teal with some really pretty glitter in it. So I'm gonna um I'm gonna add that with some pigment into the epoxy. Can you guys see that? Garbage can is overflowing with epoxy gloves, cups, etc. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on out of there. I didn't even have a garbage can. I had a paper bag. <laughs> I have a garbage can now. Where did you get your cup spinner? My hubby made it. He's going to be doing a video on how to build the single cup turner all by yourself here pretty quick. Is he? Yeah. He can use my motor. Nice. <laughs> I'll bring mine over. He can fix it. <laughs> it needs an upgrade. Yeah, I know. This is, I keep saying that too. I'm like, he needs to like figure out something new with these where they don't have so many issues. We're working on it, guys. We're trying to come up with something completely innovative to get rid of everyone's turner issues i think i'm good on my turner issues right now tell you what after he came home with those footballs and i thought he'd lost his mind <laughs> i believe the man can do anything okay so i'm just mixing in the nail polish just because it's got that pretty glitter in it Chalk pastels or blending chalk. What is that? Um, I have chalks. And I actually have shaved off pieces of those chalks with alcohol and um, used them as a hair colorant. So I think that might work, actually. I'm using some green pigment that is NYX. You guys, you can find this at almost any drugstore. I feel like I'm doing a makeup tutorial. <laughs> oh my God. In the color green. How creative there. Next. I want to put quite a bit of this pigment in there because I want it to be really, really tinted. That's a good idea. Interchangeable. Mine's interchangeable. I have a few different footballs. It's interchangeable, but that's not what you were talking about, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put this green. My epoxy's starting to set up, guys, because I've been doing this for so long now. So my epoxy's getting kind of thick. Mm, yeah. It's a little gummy, but that's not because of the pigment. That's because this cup's been sitting there since I started the video. That's okay. We'll just smooth it around. 38 anyways. minutes ago. Ooh, you guys. Poxy's been sitting here for 38 minutes. 30 minutes. I'm surprised that it wasn't completely hard. Okay. I'm going to have to put a darker color right there or is something this else. This eyeshadow, I don't know what in YX is. Eyeshadow pigment, yes. That actually looks really cool. Yeah, that was a pretty color. Hit it with your heat gun. I probably should. NYX is, it says NYX pigment. It's an eyeshadow pigment. 
it's kind of a goldish greenish sparkly something or other okay it's warm in here it's really pretty underneath where all the colors are getting stuck to my turner now because my paper came out of the way so it's okay <laughs> okay I need to put something else right here something that won't look terrible with the orange so I think I'm gonna throw this neon yellow in and see how that does but I, I need to get epoxy so I'm gonna use my my little guys about the same amount for each? Yep. I need those. So my little 16 ounce with the pump, because I just need a little bit. I just got to mix this up really quick, because I mixed the epoxy before I put the pigment in. What are you doing with this tumbler? Is it an order or just an experiment? <laughs> oh, it's seriously, this is an experiment. <laughs> this is an experiment of all sorts, guys. This is what can we put on a tumbler to either completely jack it up or, or make everyone's life pump. easier. The pumps are from Illumilite.com. They're under tools. Those partic particular <clears throat> pumps only fit the 16 ounce bottles. There are different pumps for the gallon sizes if you have the gallons. And if you order from Illumilite.com, use the discount code TISTHESEASON15, off all caps, and save yourself some money. Heck yeah. Because who doesn't like to save money? I just ordered $181 worth of stuff, and with the code it was $161. Nice. That's a good savings. I think it was $161. Something like that. Okay, I just put the neon... I should not type right now. The neon pigment in here. And because it's a powdered pigment, you kind of got to mix it really good to make sure that you don't have any chunks. Smooth it against the sides and whatnot. But I think this will answer the question of can I use anything other than the dyes? So yeah, there's some fun stuff. You guys can use some fun stuff on your cups. What was the orange and green again? Orange was a powdered pigment. Oh, these ones. Oh yeah, this was nail polish and the yellow was food coloring. I wonder why those are dripping. Oh yeah, because you said your tumbler. Never mind. Is your rod directly in your football, or is your rod attached to a piece of PVC that is inserted into the football? Rod directly in the football for the single turner. The PVC just got in my way. Those neons would make an awesome sunset. Okay. Now, let me take you guys for a ride. I went my light. Hi guys. I think you might be completely upside down that way. Let me turn you like this. Okay. Food coloring. Eyeshadow pigment. More eyeshadow pigment. More pigment. Up here I used nail polish. That has nail polish in it. This has um, two different types of eyeshadow pigment in it. Yeah. See? Where'd that green go? This, the yellow and the green that I had on there mixed. So there's some green from the pigment and then there's the neon yellow that got in there so it kind of made this like but that's a really fun color too let me the stupid light i mean it's not stupid i love my light but can you guys see that 
Super pretty. Okay. That's a cool cup. It actually turned out okay. Oh, okay, guys. One of these days, we're going to have to um, count how many times I say okay, guys, during a live. I'm pretty sure it's substantial. Do we have to drink to it? Yeah, you guys, that'll be the drinking game. You have to drink every time <laughs> I say okay, guys. The water oh that didn't work the watercolor didn't work it kathleen it, it was awful the watercolor coagulated in the epoxy so that's that's a no-go food coloring works and any type of colored pigment works any i mean you guys um if you go to like rite aid or walgreens um wet and wild has these little pigments and they'll work Oh no, you had a bad experience with Pearl Marine. You guys know how I feel about Illumilite. I have had zero issues with Illumilite. To each his own, absolutely. I'm not going to tell you to use one and not the other, but um, that that's my jam. I, I won't be experimenting with anything else. So, okay. Seriously, you'd be on the floor because I say it so much. I'm going to let you guys go. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. Um, I'm going to let this turn. I'll post a picture of it after it sets up so you guys can see how each of the different things either cured or didn't cure. I'll let you know what did cure, what didn't cure, if anything stays sticky or what happens. And hopefully you guys will be posting some fun stuff posted on this thread. You guys, you can share your creations based on the tutorials in the thread of the tutorial. So you can go in and say, look, I mixed blah, blah, blah with it and I, I put it on the thread then we won't have to delete it. All right, guys, have a good day. Thanks for watching.